Let's go, Sizzle. Working on it. Try, trying to get out here and do some filming today. Let's go, woman. Sorry, Sadie. How was the Wahoo fishing? Not good. Brian was baby this morning and decided not to go. What? Yeah. Pretty much. Brian's baby. All right, we need to bring some land shark towels and, uh, and our dive gear. Now, that, that's not exactly what happened, guys. We have, for safety purposes, we have a 15 knot wind limit on when we go fishing in my little 23 foot boat. So, it was way over that today. So, kind of, man, I know we had all these plans about going wild fishing, but that didn't happen. So, today, we actually ended up changing up our plans. We're going to be doing something a little different, and we're going to be going down to the Boynton Beach, be oh, Boynton Beach, to the actual beach, the inlet, and uh, we're going to show you something cool down there. Gosh, look at the ocean right now. It is blowing. Wow. Well, it is a good thing we didn't go this morning then. All right, so we're here, we're here at Boynton Beach Inlet. Talk louder. So I got, Darcy's yelling, we gotta talk louder. It was windy. Windy. All right, we're here at the Boynton Beach Inlet, and we hear there's a massive school of fish right on the beach, and so we're trying to find it. Search it out, check it out. I think we're gonna find these fish, because I've got my lucky fishing bracelets on. <laughs> oh, we'll see. All right, I guess we're just gonna get in and look. Got my scuba gear. Fishermen don't like bow rails, don't use bow rails. This star pro line has it, so, I don't, so we don't fall overboard. We're catching fish. You heard of it first, bow rails are life, man. No. Comment below if you think bow rails no. are cool. I agree with Eric Dressler. <laughs> Effing Dressler. What's your favorite beer? Land Shark Lager. <laughs> I want my shout out to Dar Sizzle and her sponsor, Land Shark. Thank you guys. <laughs> Dressler has informed us multiple times when we were fishing in the Keys uh, we stayed at his beautiful house and he has let us know multiple times that bow rails are a big no-no. Update on our flats boat and we are still looking currently for a new boat. I think we have ultimately decided on a bay boat um, but we are very indecisive when it comes to purchasing anything especially a boat so we just checked out those boats over there at that place and um, they didn't really have anything our size but basically we still need to get a boat we're still looking but really we're trying to get our patreon to 2,000 a month and if you're interested in helping us with that you can check it out down in the description below we'll link it here in the video and uh, but check that out and yeah, so now we're still looking, just don't have a boat. Well, yet. maybe you know, I was hoping maybe someone would you know get a boat sponsor. So, yeah. if anyone out there wants to sponsor us for a boat, uh, yeah. that would be great. A little, we're just looking for a bay boat right now, right? One of the two, either we get a sponsor <laughs> or uh, we get our Patreon to 2000, that's our goal, 2000 a month, and we'll see what happens. But hopefully, we'll have that boat real soon. Cross my fingers. What is it? What do you got for next guy? <laughs> that's it. Thanks, man. Our pleasure. Let's see what this is. Mine! Mine! Alright, here we are, Sizzle. Here we are. You see any snooks? Second attempt. I don't think we planned this very well, but whatever. We've been hearing there's a lot around. Second time, sun's a lot lower in the uh, sky now. It's hard to see in the water standing here. So now we just gotta get in the water and see what that water clarity looks like. And uh, hopefully we can find some fish, find some snook, but the tide is switched. So it's an incoming tide now, and usually that's when you can find the snook right here on the Boynton Beach, right next to the Boynton Beach Inlet. So let's find out, I don't know. I'm going, I'm the, I'm the one who's got to find them. And if I see them, then Her Highness is going to get in. Yeah, I, we're doing it that way. Not because I'm a baby, not because I don't like to, to swim. I love to swim, but um, I just have all this hair, man, on my head here. And I actually just washed my hair last night, so I'm trying to get out of getting washing my hair again tonight. <laughs> Baby. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
All right, so that totally didn't work. There's like no visibility. And if I'm trying to get to a school of fish, they're just swimming around me if they're even there. Yeah. And Sizzle had to go in to get a lure. I did. <laughs> I got wet. I didn't want to, but it ended up happening, happening because I wanted to save my $15 lure. I got to make sure I have my Missouri Crystal Minnows at all times, especially the pink one. So that's the one that ended up snapping off my fluorocarbon, which is weird. Got frayed. Um, oh, well, I saved the lure, and uh, that's, a, that's a goal in my book. We've got some good sun here. Want to take a little photo shoot? Sure. Well, okay, this, this is Darcy's model walk. I think maybe her hair is too heavy. I'm not sure. Start again. And then she kind of walks right into my shadow here. I'm not sure what's going on with that. Go back. And then I don't, I don't, I don't know. Testing out these soft sign shoes. Seems to be some operator error. Not sure. Next stop, we are headed to Publix. We need to get some groceries for dinner tonight, but also we need to get some food for our doggies actually human food for our doggies, and we'll let you know why in a second here. Come on. Oh, it's come on. Make sure we have the right flavor. Bubba likes only one flavor. Bubba's a very picky dog these days. And he's very, very spoiled, because all he does is eat human food. Oh my gosh, do you have it? There it is. Yeah, it's plain. Plain's good. She's looking for the teriyaki. Yeah, well that's what he's used to eating, so I'm afraid to get anything different and I'm afraid he won't eat it. You want some food? No? You don't want it? Okay. Alright. Well, I tried. Sadie can have it though. Sadie, Sadie eats his food though. But this is, what we, this is the problem we've had with Bubba the last couple of months, unfortunately. Any kind of dog food you put in front of him, which he used to eat in the past, he refuses to eat these days. And I'm not 100% sure why. Um, we did take him to the vet, and the vet informed us that he has bad kidneys. He's old. Both of these dogs are brothers and sisters, so they're from the same uh, litter. And he's about, how old is he, Brian? About 15 years old, 16 years old, I believe. Yeah, he's like 15, six, 15 Yeah, and a half 15 16. going on 16. So he's old for a Shih Tzu, and, um, you know, He's just getting old. He's 90 in human years, right? Um, so he, unfortunately, I've been feeding him people food. That's the only thing he'll eat these days. He is actually going to eat pork loin tonight. We have this pork over here for him. And that's what he's been eating lately, but it changes week to week. He eats something different. Some, week I, some weeks I give him ground beef, and some weeks I give him pork. So, guys, if you can help us out, let us know down in the comments below. Uh, if you have any suggestions as to what he will, he'll eat, he won't eat veggies. He just mainly sticks to uh, meat. But if you guys could help us out, we'd really appreciate that. Go ahead and comment below. Um, Bubba's a good boy. And, and, and Bubba... it's like he's just picky, right? Like... Yeah, it's almost like he's like real picky. Sometimes he'll taste the food. Well, he's going to eat the heck out of the pork. Yes, he will <laughs> chomp it down. It's not his teeth. He had a bunch of teeth work done last year, so it's not that. Um, but he's hungry right now, but he just won't eat dog food. So it's a real struggle lately. And but he's... then sometimes he eats the pork, and then he won't eat that, and then he'll right. find something else to eat. Right, it's no weird. That's going to be next. Right, exactly. Right. So week to week it changes, and... And uh, he's lost a lot of weight, too. He's like 20%. He's lost 20% of his body weight. We're trying to feed him. So, guys, please help us out. Let us know down in the comments below what you think we can do in order to get this doggy to eat. And we'll continue to give you updates. So, thank you guys so much for watching. Okay, Bubba, I'll put you down. We appreciate you guys. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have new videos every single week. Make sure you like the video. And until our next adventure, follow your dream and keep on catching.